This is your $1,200 stimulus check update and the latest stimulus news. As always, this video pertains to everybody, including those of you receiving Social Security, whether it's retirement, disability, or survivors, SSI recipients, supplemental security income, VA beneficiaries, as well as low income and no income. But hey, everybody, I hope you're having a nice Friday so far. Today is Friday, September 11th. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here or you're not subscribed for any reason, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. I'm laughing a little bit right now because I have to be honest with you, this is probably my 20th take trying to film this video. I'm really struggling today, apparently. <laughs> so I hope I can get through this one. But uh, oh man, it has been rough this morning. So let's get into this and talk about it. Yesterday, as we know, the Senate <laughs> they voted on their skinny bill. And as we know, no shock, it failed. It did not pass. But you know what? We've been talking about this for the last few days now. This, base, this thing basically had no chance of passing the Senate. So, I mean, comes as no shock. I was going to make a video last night talking about it with like the latest updates, but I thought, you know what? I basically already told all of you it's not going to pass anyway, so it's not really going to be like that breaking of news. But I thought, you know, it, you know, I can talk about it this morning. So, yeah, it definitely did not pass yesterday. Uh, Democrats did not support this, but we knew that. Democrats basically already said this whole time, hey, we're not supporting it. They, they're not supporting it at all. A couple of the reasons they said it does not include state and local government funding. Also, it does not include food assistance. Those are just a couple of the reasons that they gave, but there's many more reasons for why they're not supporting this. Um, but it's interesting. The White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, was actually out saying this is the most optimistic he has been in a very long time regarding a stimulus bill. Um, well, stimulus negotiations, I should say. Also, Chuck Schumer was out and said that he's very confident that there will be a bipartisan agreement on a stimulus bill. So again, these are not exact quotes from them, but essentially that's what they're saying. So it's very interesting that we have Mark Meadows on the Republican side and we have Chuck Schumer on the Democratic side. Both of these people coming out just not that long ago, just within the last day or so, saying these statements. And it's very interesting. The whole point of this skinny bill apparently was to re- kindle negotiations between the parties. Well, maybe we're seeing a little bit of evidence of that based on these statements that these guys are making. So um, it seems like a really weird approach to kind of rekindle negotiations after their month-long recess by having a bill that basically got nowhere. But whatever the negotiations uh, tactics are, who knows, whatever. If whatever works to get these people to come back to the table and start negotiating again, whatever it takes, they, they just need to come back and negotiate something out. I guess if it means making up this fake bill, I shouldn't say fake, but this kind of joke of a bill, as I said the other day, and uh, doing this, then whatever. I guess that's what it, it takes. At the same time, what's interesting, President Trump is starting to flex his a little bit, his little... <laughs> <laughs> little, maybe that's um, literal, I'm not sure, but maybe he's flexing a little bit his, of his executive authority. By that, he continues to talk about his potential um, options of doing this executive order of redirecting that $300 billion and sending it out in the form of stimulus checks. So this is good. Just the fact that he continues to talk about this is actually really good. Now, I want to go back and preface those um, executive orders that he issued about a month ago in early August. The reason being, leading up to those executive orders, there was a ton of controversy about them. There were a lot of people saying, he can't do this, he doesn't have the authority, he can't, you know, he doesn't have the authority to do what he's about to do. Well, guess what? He went through anyway, he signed those ex executive orders, and now here we are about a month later, and guess what? They went into effect, they happened. So even though there was a lot of controversy before, during, and after the signing of those executive orders, they still went into effect. And guess what? You haven't really heard a whole lot of people opposing those executive orders. Here we are a month later. So it's interesting, even though there was so much opposition about those executive orders, you know, he still did it and it still went on and it still went into effect. So here's kind of what I'm thinking about that. He continues to talk about his potential threat of redirecting this $300 billion and sending it out in the form of stimulus checks. He keeps saying like, oh, I don't know if I have the authority to do that. I'm asking Congress. You know what? He may just go ahead and just do it 
and think, well, if they want to stop me, I guess go ahead, guys, come and stop me after I've already signed the executive order. So, I mean, at that point, with that being said, it could be very interesting to see what happens here in, you know, of course, the coming days. Here we are on Friday over the weekend. There may not be a whole lot, but guess what? Actually, the last executive orders he signed was also on a weekend. So you never know what could happen. It will be very interesting. I think it'd be kind of funny if he signed executive orders sending out and redirecting that $300 billion and sending it out in the form of stimulus checks to kind of like to stick it to Congress. Like, hey, suck on that, Congress. What are you guys going to do about it? So could be very interesting. Now I want to talk about something, a timeline a quick timeline that I kind of put together regarding these second stimulus checks and what I've been talking about for a long time is their perfect timing of the delivery of these stimulus checks right in front of the election. So here we are, Friday, September 11th. What I've anticipated based on remarks that we've heard from Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, otherwise is like to say, Stevie boy, um, the comments that he has made, he basically said that since we already have those first stimulus checks that went out back in, you know, you know, April, May, June, whatever, however long. Um, he said that basically if there's a second stimulus check, they can direct these and they can send them out within the course of about one week. They need about one week to prepare and then they can start sending them out. So the timeline that I've kind of uh, put together here is basically between now and the end of September, September 27th, the week of September 27th is when I anticipate is the last week that they could sign this stimulus bill to issue the checks. The reason being, let's say the bill is signed the week of September 27th. The 27th is a Sunday. Let's just say it's signed that week, okay? So we kind of write that week off as, okay, that week is wasted and gone. The next week we have is the week of October 4th. That's the Sunday also. So that's the one week period that I can anticipate that they'll kind of just burn away saying, yep, we're getting prepared to send out the checks. And then the following week, the week of October 11th would possibly be based on the last distribution of the first stimulus checks. That could be the week that the first wave of people start getting them. The people who filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return. The next wave of people would be the next week, October 18th. Those would be the Social Security and SSI recipient people, getting them that week. Again, this is based on the distribution of stimulus checks from the first round. This is how they did it, the waves that they did. So that would be the second week, week of October, um, what did I say, the 11th would be those, no, no, I take that back, the week of October 18th would be the week of the um, Social Security and SSI people. The next week would be the non-filers, the week of October 25th. That would be it. And then guess what? The next week is the elections. So just based on that, of course, there's nothing signed, nothing agreed upon, nothing, you know, nothing yet. But I anticipate the last week that we can see this thing signed to get these checks out perfectly timed in front of the election would be the week of September 27th. So keep an eye on that. I'm just, we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully we get a signature before then, um, you know, of some kind of stimulus bill passed, especially the stimulus checks. I mean, let's be honest, all of us just care about the stimulus checks. That's all that we want right now, right? So we'll keep an eye on this. And um, it'd be awesome if President Trump came through with those executive orders. I think it'd be really funny on the part of Congress just to kind of stick it to Congress. Yeah, take that guys, take that. But it'd be kind of funny. But anyway, this is about the latest information we have as of right now. I'll continue watching everything and I'm here for you. So enjoy your day and